Hey everyone, I'm Faith from Sleep Foundation. You've likely heard at some point in your life the recommendation to drink warm milk before bed, especially if you have trouble sleeping. But hey, this isn't the 90s. Most of us aren't drinking milk. M M milk. And you probably thought warm milk, heavy mucusy milk right before bedtime? We don't even drink milk at mealtimes anymore, so why is this still a thing? Can warm milk before bed actually help you fall asleep? What about helping you stay asleep? Or is it just a sleep myth? It's not clear where this idea of drinking a glass of warm milk before bed first appeared. It's most likely old wisdom handed down from generation to generation. Still, the idea persists in our imaginations. You probably haven't tried it yourself, but should you? Well, let's start here. Milk contains an amino acid called tryptophan, which is frequently cited as being the sleep-inducing aspect of a large turkey dinner. When you ingest tryptophan, either through milk or turkey, it produces serotonin and melatonin. Serotonin is the neurotransmitter in your brain that gives you a mood boost. Melatonin, of course, is the hormone your body produces to get you to sleep at night. However, milk contains only a minor amount of tryptophan, and in order to get enough to raise your melatonin levels, you'd need over two gallons, which let's be honest, would probably not help you get a good night's sleep. Now, research has shown that cows who are milked at night have exceptionally high amounts of melatonin and tryptophan. Excuse me? I'll have an iced decaf white chocolate latte, light foam, no whip, two pumps of chocolate, one pump sugar-free caramel with 2% from a cow milked at night. Of course, you could just take a melatonin supplement but taking a pill is a very different experience than the process of sipping a warm beverage before bed. So we know there are not enough chemicals in milk to help you sleep, but what about the temperature of the milk? Warm milk isn't going to be necessarily more effective at helping you sleep than cold milk. Heating milk doesn't release any extra tryptophan or secret amino acids. One theory is that there's a subconscious connection between drinking warm milk and being breastfed as a baby before being put down to sleep. Another theory is that because poppies secrete a milk-like substance, people would drink this milk, which is known to have sedative effects. So you have a bunch of people drinking what they call the milk of paradise, which of course is going to help you sleep. But what's more likely is that this recommendation to drink warm milk comes down to the psychological comfort of drinking something warm before bed. Also, obviously, warm milk can be a problem before bed if you are lactose intolerant, have IBS, or other stomach issues. But for those of you who'd still like to partake in something milk-ish before bed, we do have a few recommendations. First, oat milk has tryptophan just like regular milk, plus it has more protein than milk to curb any late night snacking. You could also try some warm almond milk, and almond milk even adds magnesium, which is often helpful for insomniacs. Finally, soy milk has isoflavones, which may help ease sleep problems for older postmenopausal women. Regardless of what type of milk you prefer, we recommend that if you're going to drink a warm beverage before bed, you may as well pack it full of stuff that will help you sleep. So turn that milk into golden milk. Golden milk is a blend of milk, regular almond soy, whatever your preference, ground turmeric, cinnamon, fresh ginger, and a dash of honey or maple syrup. Given the blend of spices in this milk, you get a drink that helps induce sleepiness, can fight inflammation, and in general, promotes a sense of calm and relaxation. <sighs> so let's answer once and for all. Does warm milk help you sleep? The short answer is yes, possibly. It may help some people fall asleep, but on its own, it's likely not a cure-all for having trouble falling or staying asleep. More likely, it comes down to the comfort and coziness of something warm before bed. If you genuinely enjoy the taste of milk and the calmness that is associated with a warm beverage before bed, then by all means, add a glass of warm milk to your nightly routine. But if you're lactose intolerant, prefer other warm beverages, already have a nighttime routine that works for you, or just think milk is gross, you can probably avoid it. So let's call a milkish beverage just one ingredient to getting a good night's sleep. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments if you've tried warm milk before bed. Does it work for you? Sweet dreams, everyone. What are we gonna do with all this milk?